and please uh, give them the courtesy of giving them your attention. All right, let's keep quiet, y'all. First, we're taking in alphabetical order. Will be from, from the candidate Arnold Martin. My issue good. Brenda Jordan. Followed by Ted Terry. Nominated by Sakara Scott. So at this time. I want to recognize this. good. Come up, Folks, we are now taking the nominating speeches for first vice chair. Nice and good. Well, greetings, fellow Democrats. Can I have your attention, please? Greetings, fellow Democrats. I am Maisha Good, 13th Congressional District Chair, and I would like to nominate Arnold Martin III for Vice Chair of the Democratic Party of Georgia. Arnold is the Chairman Emeritus for the Fayette County Democratic Committee and the current Chairman of the County Affairs Committee. Arnold is a committed and respected leader in the Democratic Party of Georgia. He is responsive, attentive, and takes the position he has been entrusted with seriously. He is inclusive, knowledgeable, and has gained strong relationships throughout this state and has the experience and business acumen needed to move the party forward. Under his leadership as the Chairman of County Affairs, we've seen the County Committee certifications increase. Because of his working relationships with Congressional District Chairs, County committees and vice chair of congressional district chairs and county party liaison. When he was chair of the Fayette County Democratic Committee, paid membership in the treasury increased tremendously. Arnold is a mortgage banker by day and understands and knows how to create a fundraising strategic plan to help the DP treasurer and finance committee build DPG's coffers and advance the party. As you know, the Democratic Party is the nation's oldest existing political party. After the Civil War, the party dominated in the South due to, due to its opposition to civil and political rights for African Americans. However, a shift took place in the mid-20th century, and not only are we a party that believe in those rights for African Americans, but we believe it for all Americans. Arnold believes it too. Arnold supports minority and women's rights environmental protection, and progressive reforms. He also believes in guaranteeing rights for people with disabilities in the LGBTQ community. He believes in, in, in acting to advance women's rights, protect access to reproductive care, fight for equal pay, stopping violence against women, and electing more women to public office. He also believes in advancing clean energy and climate change action. He will not be quiet when it's time to speak up. His values are all of our values. Protecting and promoting every American's fundamental right is to vote as priority. He wants to fight for suppression across the state and elect Democrats from the local level up to the federal level. Our elections matter, and we must become more intentional and serious about it on every level. As a former county committee chair, he understands the challenges and successes that counties face, and he has traveled across the state and heard many of your concerns. As you can see, he is not afraid to show up, be visible, roll up his sleeves, and do the work. Arnold's vision is to unite our party across this vast region of Georgia. Arnold's vision encompasses all counties, county committees, caucuses, state committee members, elected officials, the DNC, and DPG's officials working together for a struggle party. I believe Arnold is the best candidate, and I believe that he will make us proud. If you believe it, let me hear you say, Arnold. Arnold. I didn't hear you, Arnold. Arnold. I hope you can join me today in voting for Arnold Martin. Thank you. I'm going to say this one time. Those that are around the edge that are talking, the folks on the floor can't hear. If you've got to talk, please just go outside. But we've got some pretty important business here, and we want it done right. But I've had some people on the floor say they can't hear. We're going to make sure that they can. So those around, if you want to talk, that's fine. 
please go outside to do that. And we'll start back with the other second. My name, my name is Brenda Jordan. I'm a state committee member from Hart County. I was the nominee for 2014 to 16 run state senate, District 24. Let me tell you a little bit about Arnold. Being from rural Georgia, we use rural terms. Arnold Martin is a workhorse and not a show horse. And I believe me, I, and I believe we need a workhorse in the vice chair position to guide and lead us through 2020 and beyond. He has shown in the past that he is capable of working with all counties regardless of rural or urban. His leadership skills surprises anyone I've ever known. He is not one who just shows up and leaves. He stays and helps to find the solution for local parties. He has served on the Andrew Young Policy Board and knows how to work with people from all walks of life. If he is elected, he will be a member of the Democratic National Committee, which will be our representative on the national level, and we need leadership skills to get available funding and resources. Vote for the person today who can do the job, not for your friend, not from somebody from your county. Arnold has been tried and true to the Democratic Party of Georgia and Fayette County. I would not be standing here today if I did not have trust in his ability to lead. Remember, we need a workhorse and not a shore horse, and he is the workhorse. And I'm sorry, I'm going to apologize. But I got my little timer, and that yellow went up about 30 seconds. <laughs> and I mean, that's okay. <laughs> Come on, Democrat! Good afternoon. My name is Arnold Martin, and I am looking to be your next first vice chair. And I'm running for that position, I'm very proud of that. I want to take about the four minutes and 30 seconds that I have, apparently, um, to introduce myself to you, tell you a little bit about myself, uh, what I've accomplished for Georgia Democrats, and what I see as my role as the next first vice chair. I'm a proud alumnus of Morehouse College with my master's degree in finance and international relations, and as was said, I'm a mortgage banker as well. I am chairman emeritus of the Bay County Democratic Committee and chairman of the, of the County Affairs Committee for DPG. As a successful chairman, I was able to build it from less than 25 active members to almost 200 members. I helped to get five Democrats elected and appointed to positions in offices in a truly red county like Fayette. I was awarded by the DPG, the speaker, Tom Murphy, Lifetime Achievement Award for my accomplishments as chair. I am proud to have served my county. Because of my great success as the county chairman, DuBose Porter appointed me as chairman of the County Affairs Committee. In four years of this position, I've crisscrossed all over Georgia, north, south, east, and west, supporting and building new county parties and organizing them. Before I became chairman of the County Affairs Committee, there were less than 90 charter county parties, and now we have almost 130. That's a lot of work, but we still have more work to do. These stronger and new county parties have made a huge difference in our local and statewide elections in the last four years, especially the last elections as well. We've accomplished a lot, but again, we have more work to do. Strong county parties build strong state parties. As your next first vice chair, I'm just going to tell you a few of the things that I'm going to do. I will work hard to support our next chair. I'll be the ex officio member of all standing committees. I will show up. I will work to unify Georgia Democrats, progressives, moderates, and conservatives. We must work together to win these elections. I will work hard to bring a stronger voice to our grassroots groups, unions, and donors of all levels to listen and to have them be heard. I will make sure that statewide campaigns will work well with the county parties as well. I am the only candidate for first vice chair that has had the experience of a county chair and being a statewide position of working with county caucus members and part of county parties. I know your challenges, I know your pain at times, and I know your victories as well. You are amazing people. You, are, you work hard and I want to make sure that you are appreciated. I know the most critical issue is money. You need money to be able to be successful with, uh, to support your candidates and your caucus. With, within that, as your first vice chair, 
I will be out front raising money on your behalf for your county parties and your caucuses so that you can be successful and elect more Democrats. We must be people of action, and I am that. And so this week, I started a fundraiser for our county parties and caucuses. And in one week, I have raised over $2,000 to turn over to the DPG for on your behalf, on your behalf. So that, once again, as you're out there circling the state, this makes a difference. We will raise money for you to make a difference for you in doing that. And so I say thank you so much for all that you have supported. Because I've walked in your shoes at the county level, I understand where you are and what you are doing, and so truly, that is the case. For a vote for Arnold Martin is a vote for experience that has walked in your shoes, a proven leader. A vote for Arnold Martin is a vote for a fundraiser. A vote for Arnold Martin is a vote for a statewide relationship with county parties and caucuses. A vote for Arnold Martin is a vote for a committed DNC member who will show up always to represent you. Let's continue this journey as we walk together across the state. Remember, you're amazing, you work hard, and I want you to be appreciated. Thank you very much.